just because uh, the result was statistically significant, it doesn't mean that uh, the you know effect you know uh, the effect was actually you know large enough to have significant impact on you know decision making or you know in reality for example you know a uh, big project or research project like a city you know project like New York City is thinking of implementing a new reading program in the elementary schools in doing so it costs a lot of money and the reading program promises to have a statistically significant positive effect on reading among elementary school students and the reading program also costs about 50 million dollars to implement and teachers don't ex especially like it so you know you do some research and do you know like sample of 2000 you know maybe and uh, get get results and statistical results and you find there's some uh, you know statistically significant results you know for example you know uh, you got a little bit of increase from 70 to 7 you know 70.4 points on the on the on the uh, reading score for example so you know because of this interventional program their reading score increased from 70 to 70.4 and according to the statistical calculation this difference was significant meaning you know this difference was due to the program not the error you know sampling error The question is, so this effect was statistically significant, but you know, is it really worthwhile uh, effect? You know, um, okay. So the question is, is this effect practically important? Is it worth the fifty million dollars? Okay. Based on the sample mean of seventy point four, the program doesn't seem to have a very large effect. I think most people would say that it's not a statistical effect. I mean, substantial effect, especially if there's a, a cost comparable alternative that can produce a larger effect. So in this example, we can see the hypothesis tests don't really evaluate the absolute size of a treatment effect. They just tell us that our sample data are unlikely to be observed if there's no effect. So how do we evaluate the size of an effect? We calculate the effect size. You know, how do you do that? You know, it's kind of logical though, effect size. If you uh, take the uh, standard deviations or variance into consideration, you know. So the the it's called Cohen's d. Cohen's d is an effect size is you know denoted by d. It's called Cohen's d. Oh, I don't know why it's d. Uh, he didn't tell us. Anyway, d is calculated as let's see. Okay, this is a treatment mean and it's a non non treatment mean. So in the you know, you see a difference, you know, or improvement or difference impact or effect size here. And divided by the standard deviation, it's a typical variance, you know, a difference from the from the the mean, you know. So by doing that you can kinda, you know, estimate the the uh, the percentage of effect size you know effect size would be you know if it's one you know typical variance 
same as typical variance, then you know you can say it's really large, you know. In other words, anyway, um, okay, the estimated queen uh, in this example, okay, 0 0.4 divided by 10 would be 0 0.04. So D is 0 0.04. We estimate that the reading program changed the mean by just 0 0.04 standard deviations. So in terms of standard deviations, okay, okay, so yeah, it's like the standard deviation. That's right. See, it's the uh, uh, non-treatment uh, mean. So it's like a mean, absolute mean, and this is the uh, sample mean. Actually, because it's sample, you know, the D is if 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 you use a population mu here for treatment, then it's just D. But because it's using a sample, it's noted by this. How do you call? Uh, how do you call this? I don't know. D something. Okay. And so it's a standard. It's like a standard deviation, you know. Well, it's zero point zero four. And the estimated coins D is, uh, yeah, you call it estimated, uh, is 0.04. We estimate that the reading program changed the mean by just 0.04 standard deviation. And uh, this is the uh, guidelines for coins D. Uh, anything below 0.2 is negligible. And uh, 0 0.2 and 0 0.5 is a small effect, and above 0 0.5 and the below 0 0.8 is medium effect. And I said, you know, more than one, you know, around one is a large effect, but okay, more precisely, 0 0.8 and over is a large effect. So we would say the reading program had a negligible effect. This would quickly tell us that the reading program might not be worth the cost. Another advantage of effect sizes are that we can compare them across studies. Um, also, you know, this effect size has to be interpreted in, 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 the, uh, in, in a context. So, you know, number itself doesn't mean anything. You know, you have to interpret it in with the, with the context. Okay, effect size should always be reported along with the results of hypothesis tests. Almost all scholarly journals require the effect size to be reported. Statistical significance is not equal to practical importance. 